and how good the polygon honeycomb grenade or how much honey that they can get worth. And they're really good at finding that honey to get what they're worth because they do it and they've been doing it longer than what we've been city planning or plumbing or doing electrical work. The prerogative of animals are different. A fly is different than a bee. A bee is just trying to pollinate. And so when bees are trying to pollinate everything, they want stuff to be like in terms of alignments rather than express inside polygons because that's how they make it. And so they're going inside of the soda machine trying to drink the honey. So when you're trying to make relations with like a bolt and a hologram, it can be different because one's mechanical if it's a metal bolt. And the other thing, the hologram could be a light bulb, and that's the only difference. Unless something has a really shiny surface, then that can be used as an incandescent. So that's what fireflies do. Like ice cube trays, but if they're calibrated to be Legos, it would be different. And the timing belt for something that's binary is different than a timing belt for something that's mechanical. A mechanical thing you can go on the road, and it can have like a different timing belt with the road because it curves. But if it's electric, then the timing belt is going to be calibrated off of the electronic waves when you're entering in data in a computer program. That's what's making the reading of a binary instead of a digital. I mean, of a digital instead of a um, mechanical time belt like in a car. The timing belt on electronic device is going to be electronic, so when it is turning the electricity on the screen and you're entering in the display, it is adding in a logarithm floating number, which is in scientific notation, just digital uh, value equal to whatever info you're pressing. Like if it's on a magnetic strip, that will have the information of you on there and it can be changed for you to be uploaded into a database on an electronic device that's different than the road because the program the program is already stopped and stationary and ready to be used on any device that can enter its database. There's linears but then there's vertical alignment and one of the things that I have inside my town is these stencils on the ground and the stencils over here are on an angle above linear so now it's on a lateral verticality and you could press one of these onto the diagonal location of the other one is that's on the flat ground because this is elevated and you can show the ratio between it and make it stencil from one to the other if you have the um the symmetry between the two distances accurate and all that would be is just the diagonal as i said before these three people have nothing to do with this watch so if you buy that watch and something goes wrong don't call these people because they will not be able to help you but if they do have this watch they might tell you but you won't know their number because they're not providing it on the paper. The reasons that measurements work are for things that are within the constraint of it, calibrated to the accuracy. If something were explained to be good when it wasn't, how much bearing would that fur in a differentiation where you would have to make its makeup because the slack had a ball chain broken and is now in a lockstep, whether you are or aren't. Guilty by association, by living on a planet and not being perfect is more unanimous than ever when it comes to taxidermy. Anyone doing taxidermy is doing a modern day mummification. And when things are switched that shouldn't be, such as a turkey's body being used with the eagle's head, just by replacing its feathers, you have now perform performed 
a sheep in wolf clothing. And that is just as dangerous as a mummy who has been mummified and doesn't know that there's a dino dinosaur skeleton that's been fossilized under it. Not point A, a mummy shouldn't be able to know anything because it's not living and it's not conscious. Point B, if you have dinosaur bones in a liquid form of fossil fuel either above or below the mummy in Egypt and its body's been switched like a taxidermy's head to the body well then you have a horse of a different color if they're on top of each other or in the middle point B that actually is probably happening just what are we doing with any of these positions and measurements if a value of a nadinkra and a mentissa are up in the air for only billionaires to quarrel over so then gene editing crispr systems ran by just billionaires has to be understood 10 times the amount that it currently is so that atoms are all accounted for and not made point A to point B by accident. One thing that might not be easy to talk about is a mantissa. And this is uh, different than a dinkra, but two of them have to do with... Or in, and from a distance, that piece of plastic might have looked harmless, but if it was connected to the engine of this vehicle, or if it was connected to the engine that makes the hot pretzels, well then that simple construct could have been much worse than it was. That can happen with Bluetooth. It looks like an air pump for a bike or a glow stick, that's broken. Back to Alice in Wonderland and the Wizard of Oz, what makes those two stories great was not that they survived. What it was because the number one question in either case, they were able to maneuver. The number one question I think in Alice in Wonderland was when the Red Queen grabbed her and was running. It was said that they were running really quickly, but in a stationary position and then after that three second period it was recorded that they had covered miles and miles of land so what happened in that instant would be the number one question of all the crazy things that happened in that story the number one question in the wizard of oz could have been when glenda the good witch asked Dorothy if she was a good witch or a bad witch. Because that defined the location once again for the entire the entirety of that story. So the location in both stories was the number one question. And it both has to do with either being flat or gut. There's the aspect of being flat. It falls on its face every time because it's an inanimate object. And being gutless. Well, I think that's what could have happened multiple times in either story. And that's what makes the story of Wonderland or the Land of Oz so great was that they had to understand if it were positive covering of the land or if the aspect ratio was to disembark in decompartmentalizing everything around them before they were decompartmentalized by the land. Whether then from a red queen or the Wicked Witch of the West, that could have been an outcome in either case from the land. Billy Goats got eaten up by a saber-toothed tiger, or 
if they got spaghettified by a black hole. Either way, it would be taking those apart one by one. The opposite of that would be how good of a process in a different aspect ratio, mainly covering land. And what better things are covering land than a fast vehicle? And how good a vehicle can be fast depends on its engine. And that's why people are so into them to see who has the best vehicle. So that is the opposite of an obliteration would be a well-driven area. Have you ever seen what happens and make it be a depiction? Enough for you to further a programming where you're attacking and executing a specific set of rules based upon your opinion of an image processing example. Exhibit A. <clears throat> Is this person flush in the face? Is this person having a hard time breathing? Hardness of breath. If you have a hardness of breath and you're not wearing a mask during a lockdown, that is like 99% of the people, the 1% of the people are rich and on private jets not wearing a mask. So they would literally be the only category in the group not liable to be a contact trace uh, opinion of a prospect looking to be subject for a P-O-I. 